Sonny. What are you doing? I have to make a business trip. You're not going anywhere without me. I appreciate the offer, but it's something I have to do alone. Well, it wasn't an offer. It was a statement. This could be dangerous. What, is that supposed to discourage me? Because it doesn't. But even if you're bringing a, a book back to the library, I still promised Robin I wouldn't leave you alone. You did that by sticking around last night, okay? You fulfilled your obligation. W what kind of business is so dangerous? Something that needs a resolution. It happens all the time. See, after my accident, I used to hate it when people watched me and kept asking me if I was okay, but I don't want to do that with you. But something seems off. No, no, hey, 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 I'll be fine. As soon as I take care of the problem, I'll be fine. All right, let's go. No, no, wait, wait, you're not going with me, Jason. This could get us both killed. Everybody has to die sometime. Yeah, well, some people die too soon. Others live too long. I've already died once in this lifetime, so I'm not afraid. Maybe you should be. You know what these are for? No, 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 you don't just point and shoot. Until you mean to kill. This is uh, Jason. He works for me. We just got back from Miami and heard about Lily. Yeah, we're real sorry. But uh, we didn't get any details. Do you know what happened? Well, I, I, I hope to find out. Senor Rivera's expecting me? Yeah, sure. He's not doing so well. I didn't figure he would be. You go ahead and wait for me out here. Senor Rivera has collapsed from a stroke when he got the telephone call about his daughter's death. Please let me offer my condolences on the loss of your wife, Senor Corintos. She was much too young. Apparently, she was a victim of a uh, terrible car accident. What's his condition now? Well, he's not able to communicate at the present time, but I'm convinced that he can see and hear and comprehend much of what is going on around him. The stroke left him almost completely paralyzed, except for a movement in his right arm and leg. Do you think he recovered? There's no way of knowing now to what extent, but he has always had a fierce will.
I'm not stupid, Padrino. I know the car bomb was meant for me. You thought she was on her way here last night, thousands of miles away from Port Charles. You thought you'd get the call saying, it's done. He's dead. And then maybe you, you'd have a good cigar and a glass of rum. But what I'm curious about, how did you intend to explain my death to Lily? Did you actually think she was going to thank you for killing me? Or were you just going to pretend you weren't responsible? Conjecture. Pointless. Anyway, you never got that call. And I'm still alive. And Lily was blown to pieces. You killed your own daughter. And you killed your own grandchild. Yeah, that's right. That's what she was coming to tell you. She loved you so much. She wanted to have the pleasure of seeing your face when she gave you the news. She wanted you to share in her joy. We were staying together. And she was the happiest I've ever seen her in my life. I came here to kill you. I know it's just a small satisfaction for... the murder of my... something and now here you are living in your own hell lying there helpless knowing what you did for what for nothing I'm going to be kinder than you were to me. I'm giving you a way out. Senor Rivera is dead. 